My name is Matt Johnson, and I am a member of the Jones Day PTAB litigation team. Since its introduction in September 2012, the United States Patent and Trademark Office's Patent, Trial, and Appeal Board, the PTAB, has been substantially more popular a form than anyone would have expected. A product of the 2011 America Invents Act, the PTAB provides a new form for parties to challenge the validity of claims of a patent, typically patents that they have been sued for infringing. During the one-year rulemaking period between the America Invents Act's passage and the PTAB opening for business, the Patent Office provided estimates on how many petitions for inter-parties review, the most common type of PTAB trial, would be filed each year. The Patent Office initially estimated that 460 requests for PTAB trials would be filed per year. In actuality, that number has been much, much higher, with over 1,300 petitions being filed in 2014, growing to over 1,700 in 2015. A slight pullback was seen in 2016, with about 1,550 petitions being filed. Regardless, the filing rate has been nearly four times what was originally expected. We see three main reasons for this explosion in PTAB popularity. Petitions for PTAB trials are brought by patent challengers, thus each of these reasons is going to be something that is attractive to petitioners. The first reasons are structural. PTAB trials are each administered by panels of three administrative law judges that all have technical degrees. If you are being sued based on a patent that describes highly technical subject matter, you may prefer to work in a forum that speaks the language of your patent so that you are confident that you will get a fair review. PTAB trials are also very fast-paced. They are completed within 18 months of petition filing, meaning that your PTAB challenge to a patent will be completed before your district court infringement trial ends, with the prior mechanism for challenging patents at the PTO that often was not the case. The second reason is district court stays. District court judges have liked the option to offload patent validity challenges and trials to the PTAB and have often opted to stay the district court case during the pendency of the PTAB trial. Stays have been granted over 70% of the time after the PTAB is instituted, giving an accused infringer a reprieve from expensive discovery and delaying recovery to the patent owner, both of which increase the petitioner's settlement leverage. Finally, and probably the most important driver of PTAB popularity has been results. Initially, PTAB petitioners enjoyed tremendous success. PTAB trials were instituted over 85% of the time in the first year that trials were available. That number is pulled back to the 65-70% to 70 range, depending on the technology, but still remains a very high number. Once the PTAB has taken an initial look at a petition and decided that a trial should be instituted, patent owners face a severely uphill battle where over 85% of the time claims are canceled by the board. The massive popularity of the PTAB has made it a consideration of every patent litigation strategy today. Decision makers and companies need to be aware of and conversant in the issues of the board so that they can ask their counsel intelligent and important strategy questions. We encourage everyone to learn about the PTAB, and we hope that Jones Day's PTAB litigation blog is a helpful resource for doing so.